Hello everyone, and welcome to our strap special on Monday, February 5th, 2024. Today is, February, today is the February bank holiday, so happy bank holiday to all of you. Hope you're having a great day, and we've we've already done a snow watch today. We're doing a strap special now, and later on we're doing our usual evening updates looking at that snow risk. So, starting off with our zonal wind forecast at 10 HPA, um, basically this is from the ECM and the ensembles. So basically, each little blue line here um, is an ensemble, there are 50 of them. And then there is this thick blue line through here, that is the ensemble mean. The speed is on the y-axis and the date is on the x-axis, and also we have um, the zero line, which is very important, as any ensemble that goes below that has the has the has the zero winds going into reverse. Basically, normally you have the westerly winds going around the Arctic and the North Pole into the atmosphere. If if the warming is strong enough, it can reverse the winds and make them go easterly around the Arctic and North Pole. That would be a reversed zone of wind and therefore a technical SSW. So you can see that we see the ensemble mean around February 18th getting very close to getting very close to reversing the winds. However, it's, it's just it's just not doing it. Um, now you can see about one third of the ECM ensembles do reverse the winds. Um, so currently it's uncertain as you expect. But there is potential here for a te technical major SSW. In January, we saw some, we saw something like this. We saw a major warming in the stratosphere in terms of temperature, but it did not reverse the solar winds, and therefore it was not a technical SSW. Looking at the GFS run now, so you can see um, here's the here's the North Pole, Arctic around here. And down here are the mid latitudes. You can see that we're seeing warming currently towards um, Siberia, and that forms even more into next week. By Tuesday, the by Tuesday, February thirteenth, we see this big warming towards Russia, extending towards Siberia and North Pole, and it keeps going and it keeps forming there. So much of the North Pole and the Arctic is covered then. By this big warming, PV is displaced, but not, but it hasn't split. Um, yes. So the GFS operational run only goes for a displacement event. So we'll go through the ensembles of the GFS, starting off with the control run. So go to um, northern hemisphere, looking at the temperatures at, at an HPA. So uh, there we go. Keep going. Control run has a displacement ensemble number one has a displacement, but that PV is very much shrunken. Um, ensemble two is looking like that. It almost splits the PV. Ensemble three looking like this. Um, big warning there again. PV really reduced. Um, yes, yeah, so that's a big warming and a tiny PV at the end, but it is not split. Number four goes for a displacement event. Number five, you know, this, that is awesome. Oh, that's a split. That's a split into, but by the way, um, any chance of a split is towards February 20th. Number six is going for a displacement. Number seven. Is going for a just sort of a kind of a split. It cuts the tail of it off, but it doesn't really do anything else. But either way, that PV is being very much weakened at the end of the run. Number eight is like this. It's going for a recent event, although towards the, towards the end of it, big warming towards Siberia. Number nine is going for what's it going for? Please load. That's going for a split. I mean. It's sort of kind of chipping away at the tail of it again. That's more, I think, of a displacement event, not really a split. 
Um, number 10 is going for a special event. Number 11 also is going for a special event. Yes, also a special event, but also a huge warming. Number 12 going for a displacement event. Number 13, going for a displacement. Number 14, going for a displacement. Number 15, but all these, all these ensembles go for a varying level of temperature, but most of them are going for a displacement. So, um, 15 again goes for a displacement event. Number 16 is like this. Again, going for a displacement. Number 17, um, displacement. Number 18, displacement. Number 19, they were similar, but just in case, just in case one of these has something special. Number 20 is a displacement. Number 21 is a displacement. They're quite, quite a strange one, actually. Number 20. Two is a displacement, almost missing there. Number twenty-three is a displacement, like kind of sort of um, a split. Twenty-four is a displacement. Twenty-five is a displacement. Though it seems like right, we see one more, but one warming lasting through around February twentieth, starting right now towards Siberia, then moving towards the North Pole, and then. After February 20th, a warming forms again over Siberia, and that might do a second blow. Number 23 is like this. Actually, that splits it. Number 24, looking at this, that's a displacement. Number 25, going like for this sort of thing, a displacement event. Number, number um, some of, some runs have the warming starting up towards Europe around February 20th. Number 26, going for this, that's also a displacement. Number 27, going for a displacement event, 28, also going for a displacement, although a very much weakened PV is seen at the end of the run, number 29 is going for a displacement, almost going for a split there towards Greenland on February 21st, here is 29, I think that was 29, sorry, sorry, that was 29, at 30, 30, going for a displacement, but, 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 towards the end of the run, look at that huge warming towards Siberia. So everyone, thanks for watching, definitely, you know, we do have the possible cold spot coming up this week, towards the end of the week and the weekends, and after that, this is our main focus on this SSW, because it will probably have impacts into late February, and then particularly into March, towards the spring, um, last year we had a very similar scenario where we saw a big SSW towards late February and into early March that cold snap came. So everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you later on for our usual evening updates and I'll see you then. Bye for now.